Introduction Lupus is a connective tissue disorder and a long-term ailment. It predominantly occurs in women aged 15 to 44 years with symptoms of butterfly rashes on skin, anemia, leukopenia and thrombocytopenia. It also affects muscles and joints. It can also have a serious effect on other parts of the body including the blood synthesizing organs, the kidneys, the tissue lining of the lungs that is pleura, heart, pericardium and CNS leading to multi-system inflammation. Classification of Lupus Erythromatosis Lupus Erythromatosis is based on its mode and site of manifestation and is classified into five categories, namely Systemic Lupus Erythromatosis, Cutaneous Lupus, Drug-induced Lupus Erythromatosis, Discoid Lupus Erythromatosis and Neonatal Lupus Erythromatosis. Systemic lupus erythromatosis is a chronic disease that causes inflammation in connective tissues. It is a multi-system disorder due to the interaction of autoantigens and autoantibodies. Sometimes lupus is limited to the skin or cutaneous and is called as cutaneous lupus. This can be due to the harmful impact of direct sun exposure of UV radiation on tissues leading to damage in the dermal layer of the skin. Drug-induced lupus erythromatosis is caused due to the exposure of harmful drugs such as hydralazine, procanamide and isoniazid exhibiting symptoms similar to systemic lupus erythromatosis. It represents 6 to 12 percent of all the lupus cases. Discoid lupus erythromatosis is a long-term skin disorder involving sores with inflammation and scars covering the face, ears and scalp and at times on several body parts. These lesions develop as a red inflamed patch with a scaling and crusty appearance. Neonatal lupus erythromatosis is a clinical disorder of cutaneous, cardiac and systemic abnormalities observed in newborn infants. Neonates are diagnosed with this condition due to inheritance of lupus susceptibility from their mother. Etiology Systemic lupus erythromatosis or SLE has been tagged the cruel mystery by the Lupus Foundation of America on account of its complex and partially known etiology. In SLE, many genetic susceptibility factors, environmental triggers, antigen-antibody responses, beta cell and T cell interactions which generate and perpetuate autoimmunity leading to autoantibody production. Exposure to harmful drugs and their adverse reactions, exposure to UV radiation and hormonal irregulation are suspected causes of lupus erythromatosis. Lupus is more common in women. Although lupus affects people of all ages, it's mostly diagnosed between the ages of 15 and 44. Lupus is more common in African Americans, Hispanics and Asian Americans. You can watch all these videos in their full version on the Medimagic app. We have explained all the processes using amazing 3D visuals. Download the Medimagic app. The link is in the description box below and enjoy free 14-day trial of the app. We hope you liked this video. If you did, share it with your classmates and subscribe to Medi Magic.